Hey guys, welcome to another edition of In the Kitchen with Brad. I'm Brad, your favorite Tupperware guy, and we're gonna make some delicious dessert and the star of the show, the Micro Pro Grill today. I'm gonna make a blueberry crumble, and I couldn't find just blueberries, so it's gonna be a mixed berry crumble, and it's gonna be delicious. It's seriously some of my favorite things in the world. So, uh, we talked about the Micro Pro Grill before, but we're gonna talk about it again in case this is your first video with me. The Micro Pro Grill is a very new tool that Tupperware has come up with. It is a microwave safe grill. It is wrapped in a stainless steel band, and that stainless steel, yes, it is metal. It can go in the microwave, and what it does, it absorbs the microwaves, and it turns them into thermal energy, and that goes into the base, the base and the top of the Micro Pro Grill, which cook like a grill, like a cooktop. So you can sear your food, you can do a casserole, you can grill some cheese sandwiches, um, you can make sliders. Check out my other videos for some other things that we've done with them. I love the Micro Grill. I love it so much, and we're going to make this dessert right now. And it's really, really easy. So what we've got is our frozen berry mix. I've got four cups of frozen berry. It's blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, uh, maybe some cherries. And I'm gonna dump them in a bowl. To that mix, we're gonna add, I already have prepped this up a little bit. Uh, it is, let me check real quick. It is some flour, some sugar. So it's a quarter cup of each. And we're gonna add it right to the mix. And we're gonna mix it up with a little spatula here. So I'm going to take my silicone spatula and I'm going to coat the frozen fruit. Once you have that coated, you can see right here what I've done. We're going to pour that straight in the base of the microwave. Grill. <clears throat> see what I've got? And I'm going to spread it around just a little bit and I'm going to let that sit while I make the crumble topping. So I'm going to use the same bowl. This is really fun and really simple. So first off, I actually just melted a stick of butter in my micro pitcher. This is one of my favorite products that we have as well. So it's uh, acrylic, like the vent and serve, like the stack cooker. So it's microwave safe, it won't pit, it won't stain. And I melted a stick of butter right in here because you know when you make recipes, you never have the melted ones. So it's ready to rock right here. And it, it's a perfect pitcher. So I'm gonna mix my butter, another three quarter cup of flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, a three quarter cup of rolled oats, and then a little bit of vanilla, and I never really measure. So just some vanilla. And I'm gonna mix that in with my melted butter. Again, I'm gonna use my spatula here. And how can you really go wrong with oats, brown sugar, butter, <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. It's, it's a kind of a thick topping, so it's going to be a little challenging to mix up. I just work with it. And you're going to lay that out flat on top of the fruit, and you're going to cook it. That's about as easy as it gets. So this is where we stand right here. You can see the topping. I'm going to make sure that it's mixed really well. And there we go. And I'm gonna put that right on top of the fruit mix. And I'm gonna use my spatula and spread that out on it. Missed a little scooch. You know, when it comes to sweets in my house, I need all the sugar I can get, so I'm happy I found that little extra piece. And so, look how easy that was. I just dumped it all in the Micro Pro Grill. I'm gonna put the cover in the casserole setting. So you guys know there's the casserole, and then there's the press, the grill setting. So we're gonna do casserole right here, and I'm gonna throw it in the microwave for 15 minutes, okay? This one cooks a little longer than the rest of the Micro Pro Grill recipes, but remember that you're working with frozen fruit. So I haven't tried it with fresh fruit, but I've read that other people have, and they just reduced the cooking time by a lot because the fruit obviously wasn't frozen. But we're gonna go with 15 for the frozen here, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it turns out in a few minutes. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching.
It's almost ready. Okay, so this time it's been in the microwave for 15 minutes. So really, seriously, exercise caution because it is hot. And I'm gonna use my trusty cookie sheet. Oh, that's a delicious noise. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you guys the unveiling. So I'm gonna take the top right off of this. And holy moly, does that look good. Ooh, ah. Seriously, that looks delicious. I'm gonna hold it up closer so you can see. So that's our fruit cobbler. It's supposed to be berry, but you know what? I had more than berry, so it's a mixed berry fruit cobbler. It looks really yummy. So it's super hot, so we're gonna need to let it sit for a little bit before we eat. I think we're gonna pop a little ice cream on top of it and enjoy it as a dessert. So thanks for watching my video today. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope if you have the MicroPro Grill, you try this. And I hope if you don't have it yet, check out the MicroPro Grill. It's an awesome product. I can't believe how versatile it is and how amazing it is. As always, thank you for watching and I really appreciate your business. I love my customers. Thank you guys. Bye.